slowly, like the morning sun pushing above the horizon, consciousness came. He opened his eyes. How pleasant, he thought, to wake to nature's song. But something was not right. It was as if the song was out of tune. As he walked the narrow paths, he breathed in the fresh mountain air. It focused his mind. Questions bobbed to the surface, like apples in water. Why did I sleep here? He asked himself. No, that's not the right question, he thought. Neither is where I'm heading, nor how I came to be here. A single terrible realization crystallized in his fogged mind. I don't know who I am. Many stories have been told about poor souls who have forgotten the paths they have trodden. But there is more to this tale. That Then, he spotted something glinting among the rocks. Something that called to him. All he did was pull those hatchets out of the ground. It was a simple act with an unexpected outcome. The Revelations Realm. there, he called, his voice muffled by the thick static air. Please, help. Where are you? No answer. He then felt despair, the kind that only the truly alone know. But he was mistaken. There was another in this ethereal place. The tree was alive, but bound tight by otherworldly rocks and glowing tentacles. The blades of the man's hatchets were sharp. Freed. The man 
What happened? The man cried. Where have you taken me? Calm yourself, human. The tree rumbled. Did you not want to leave that alien realm? The tree leaned closer and introduced himself as all seeds. A pomegranate tree. I... I don't know who I am, the man said. All seeds nodded. Others like me have been afflicted by a sickness. Free them, and I can help you find yourself. All seeds told the man to look for strange rocks protruding from the ground called talisman stones. Destroying the talisman stones would free his people. Then, the mighty tree extended a great branch outwards, pointing east. Unearth the Kanat Gate to find the path forward, to find yourself. As he ran, the man mulled all seeds' words. How will rescuing the tree's kin help me recover my memory? He wondered. Of course, there was only one way to find out. But to whom it belonged was a mystery. As he trod the winding path, the man thought about everything that had befallen him. The nature of the sickness that all seeds had spoken of worried him. How extensive was it? And how would it manifest itself? Little did he know that the answer to the latter question would begin to reveal itself a few steps further. after his encounter with the creatures. The tree unfurled its vibrant leaves, embracing sunshine that it had all but forgotten.
Seeds was asleep, a huge pomegranate dangling from a branch. Farhad. His name was Farhad. But who was that pained woman? And why did she ask what she did? Stones? Farhad wondered. Farhad found himself in the celestial revelations room once more. The desperate whisper through the strange starscape, calling. 
beckoning. Farah. Farah. heard. The whisper didn't say. Only the thudding of Farhan's heart broke the deep silence. was of the mysterious woman in his recovered memory. She who pleaded with him to come to her. The other, no doubt, was Farhad himself. Was she the key to his past and his future? Far more. The hairs on the back of Farhad's neck prickled. <laughs> 